My name is Steven Chin with the Guild Hall at SMU, and this is a video tutorial on basic soft body simulation in UDK. Today we will be using version May 2011, and the date of this tutorial is June 2011. Soft bodies is a simulation of materials like cloth, muscle, hair, and vegetation. For purposes of UDK, Soft bodies are volumetric solids like muscles. Cloth and other types of soft bodies are set up differently and so are beyond the scope of this particular tutorial. UDK handles soft bodies as volumetric tetrahedrons. Using these tetrahedrons, UDK simulates their interaction with each other as well as the world, the results of which are then used to deform the underlying mesh. To begin, you will need a skeletal mesh asset that has been weighed and skinned. For purposes of this tutorial, we will use a built-in asset of UDK. Although this asset is fairly complicated, you can use soft bodies with as little as one single bone. To begin creating a soft body, open up the asset in the NM set editor by double-clicking on the asset. Once this is open, it will be helpful to show certain properties in the window. To view these properties, go up to View, Show Skeleton, show bone names and show soft body texture. That will be checked automatically but in case it isn't you will want to make sure it is turned on. Once this is set up you will see the skeleton and the bones in the main window. Alternatively you can use the skeleton tree to look at the bone structure and their specific names. Now let's begin creating a soft body. To do this look down at the properties window and open up skeletal mesh. Scroll down and look for Force CPU Skinning. You will want to turn that on to enable soft bodies. At this point, you should notice a yellow tetrahedron in your main window. That represents one of the soft bodies. We will do more with that shortly. After you have checked Force CPU Skinning, close the Skeletal Mesh tab. Next, move down to the Soft Body tab and open that up. First, we will assign the bones that will be used for the soft bodies, and then we will manipulate the mesh to ensure that it works the way we want to. Because this mesh has a fairly complicated skeleton, I've already added in the bones. For your purposes, you will need to open the soft body section, click on add new item, and then type in the exact name of the bone that you wish to use. It is important to note that the soft bodies only work on the specific bone. Thus, if you have many bones, you will need to put them all into this section. If you do not, the soft body bones will fall away from the non soft body bones once you put it into the editor. Up here on this icon is the Generate Soft Body Tetrahedron Mesh. Click on that and a mesh will be generated. Since we are using the default values, nothing will have changed. However, looking at this value, we'll see that the soft body does not cover the entire mesh, and this is undesirable. To change the detail level and the resolution of that generated mesh, there are several ways you can do this. You can increase the detail level, which will increase the size of the polygons used to generate the mesh. You can also use the subdivision level to increase the number of times that that mesh is then divided. Let's increase these to 16 for the subdivision level and 1 for the detail level. Once this is done, we will need to generate the soft body tetrahedron mesh again and let's see what happens. As you can see, the soft body tetrahedron is now much more complex and will simulate much more nicely. Let's simulate what the soft body looks like right now. To do so, select Toggle Soft Body Preview Simulation. That will cause the simulation to appear in the main window. As it is now, there's a little bit of soft body physics going on, but not too much. We'll change that. Let's start by changing the volume stiffness. What this represents is the soft body's resistance to changing its shape. The higher the value, the more the shape will want to stay at its original shape. Let's turn that to a very low value just to see what would happen and turn on the simulation again. Right now, nothing. And the reason is that this is also further affected by the stretching stiffness. So let's change that. Let's lower the stretching stiffness to a low value. What this does is the willingness of the soft body tetrahedrons to separate from each other. Setting this to a low value and then simulating the simulation again, you will see what happens. 
the soft body simply falls down. Let's turn off the simulation and change the volume stiffness to see the other extreme where you have a very stiff value but it still tries to stretch. If you rotate the view, you can see that it, it tries to stay in the roughly vehicular shape. Let's turn off the simulation again and we'll briefly go over some of the other options available to you. The soft body particle radius affects how big the tetrahedrons are. Bigger values will create a somewhat chunkier simulation, but may also cause the soft body to float. Friction affects how much the soft body will, will slide across other objects. The other options will further affect the simulation, but this is beyond the scope of this level. We will now add the soft body into the level. So let's close out the ANM set editor, select our object in the content browser, close that out, and add it into our level. As you can see, I already have a simple level set up with some previously set up soft body actors. We'll add in a new one just to see how to set that up. Right click, select Add Skeletal Mesh, and the name of the mesh that you're trying to add. Once we have added it, double click on the asset to open up the properties window. Once here, open up the Skeletal Mesh Actor tab, Skeletal Mesh Component, and Soft Body. You want to check Enable Soft Body Simulation and Soft Body Awake on Level Start. Once you have these set, you also want to go down to the Soft Body RB channels and make sure it is set to default at the very minimum, and this will allow it to interact with basic BSPs. The other options will allow you to determine how the soft body reacts to other objects, but for now we will leave it as it is. Close out the properties windows and let's start up the level. As you can see, the soft body has started and the vehicles are flat on the ground. Now these other two soft bodies that I have previously added have slightly different properties. I will show you what they do. Let's pick up this rigid body. If we go over to the object we just added and move the object over, it doesn't interact because the channel hasn't been set. But if we go to this one and push the rigid body onto the soft body, you can see that it responds to the action. Now for this soft body over here, this has been set up to use special bones which allows the soft body to be connected to other skeletal meshes. In this case, the skeletal mesh has been applied to the top so that it hangs from a, an invisible perch. It is still a soft body though that can be interacted with, but it hangs there and will fall along the, the skeletal mesh. That covers the basics of soft body simulation in UDK. Thank you for listening to this tutorial and have a good day.